In this following tutorial, you will learn how to import your own textures into UDK. We'll take a diffuse, a spec, and a normal map, and we'll import them into UDK, creating our own package. Then we can use those textures and set up a material that we can use in our map. But first, let me cover some of the basics of creating your own textures. The pixel size of your textures have to fall within the power of two values. Power of two values are 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and doubling each number onto itself to create the next value. So textures such as 256 by 256 or 1024 by 1024 and so on will work because they fall within that range and use the power of two values. This is very important that your textures are set to these dimensions in pixels before you import them. In UDK, you can use either square textures or you can use rectangular textures, as long as they fall within the power of two values. Here are the textures that we're going to import into UDK. We have a spec map, a diffuse, and a normal map, and each one of these contain the dimensions of 1024 by 1024. You want to save your textures as one of these file extensions. The one that I use is TGA. It offers a lossless compression and ability to have an alpha channel if you need one. You want to save your textures as RGB and you do not want to save them as CMYK or grayscale. Also when you save you want to add a suffix at the end of the textures such as underscore D, underscore N and underscore S. This will give you an easier way to see the textures and know what they are. Back in Photoshop here we have cobblestone underscore S for spec map underscore N for normal and underscore D for diffuse and each one of these have been saved as .tga and to save your textures by going up to file save as use the drop down menu and choose targa and save and you want to save as a 24 bit pixel this will not save the alpha channel and in our case we do not need an alpha channel but if you wanted to have an alpha channel in your texture you would save it as a 32-bit. I'm gonna stick with 24, no alpha channel. And each one of these textures is set to RGB by going up to image, mode, we can set RGB color. You want to save all of your textures in a place where you can find them. I usually have a project folder for each project that I'm working on and I save all of the assets and textures into that folder. So once you have your textures saved, we are ready to import. Let's import our textures. Open up Content Browser. On the bottom left hand side, click Import. And you want to navigate to the folder where you saved your textures. So I'm just going to copy and paste the location that I have mine in. And I'm going to select just the diffuse first. You can choose all three to import at the same time, but I'm going to focus on one by one. So I'm going to select Diffuse and click Open. First thing we're going to do is create a package. Package is going to be a file, a .upk file. This file will contain all of your assets for a specific environment or a specific map. So things like static meshes, materials, textures, particle effects, animations will all be contained inside one file, this one package. To give you a better understanding of what a package is, I'm going to navigate into the UDK folder, UDK game, and go inside content, and UT3. Inside here, I'm going to go inside environments, and here you will see all the UPK packages. These are package files that were created the same way as we are about to create ours. So most of these contain a set of textures, materials, static meshes, and it is just easier for working when you have a single file that holds a specific theme or assets for a specific map. So for package, I'm going to type in the name WOLD Tutorials. Grouping is a way to organize your content within the package. So think of grouping as a folder that will contain specific assets. So in our case, for grouping, I'm going to set this to textures. If we were importing a set of static meshes, I would name this group static meshes and name I'm going to leave this default. It's going to use the default name of the texture that we saved. But you can rename this if you want. 
So for diffuse, uh, we don't need to set anything else. There are some settings that you may want to check out after you get comfortable importing textures. But for right now, your first time importing a texture, leave everything default. So once I click OK, we are going to create a package and we are going to place this texture inside a group named textures. Here on the left hand side in the packages panel, we have our package and we have our group. You can see the asterisk above our package and that means we haven't saved our package yet. So before we import the rest of the textures, let's save our package. We have an option of saving from the content browser by right clicking on the package and choosing save. Or you can go up to file and save all. This will bring up the menu and ask you where you want to save the .upk file. So I'm going to X this out and I'm going to save from the content browser. Select the package, click save. And you want to save it inside UDK game and inside the content folder. In here I already have a folder created for my own custom packages and you can create your own folders in here by navigating inside the UDK directory, C drive, UDK, UDK version, UDK game, and inside content and inside the content folder just simply right click and create a new folder. This will just keep your content and your packages and your maps organized. So here I'm going to go inside WOLD packages folder and click save. And let's find it again. Let's continue and let's import our spec map. So let's go ahead and click on import and we can choose the spec map, the texture we're going to import, select it, click open. And here we can see that we already have our package set. We have a group set and the name of the texture that we are importing. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel and show you something. So let's say we've been working with some of the packages and uh, we have some other packages selected and we decide to import a texture back into the package that we just created. So let's go to import select our texture that we're going to import and here we can see that the package has been changed based on what we have selected in the packages panel. We also don't have a grouping set to textures anymore. So the import box will show you the currently selected package in the packages panel inside the content browser. We can use the drop down menu and select the package that we want to import to WOLD tutorials and for grouping we would have to retype textures but let's cancel this let's go back and find our package if we select the package that we want to save into and we select the group within that package when we import our spec map this will set the package and this will set the group this just saves you time of looking for the package and resetting and retyping the group so for a spec map I'm going to keep everything as default in the options and I'm going to click OK. And here we have our spec map. Now let's import our normal map. I'm going to select the package and I'm going to select the group within that package. Click import. Select the normal map and click open. I'm going to make sure that the package and the group is set to what I want. Make sure the name is what I want as well. And for the options for the normal map in the compression settings, I want to change TC default to TC underscore normal map. There is another option you can choose for normal map called TC underscore normal map uncompressed. And this is a special case to case basis when you want to see if your normal map will look better if you choose one compression setting over the other. But for most of the normal maps, choose TC underscore normal map. Click OK. And here we have our normal map. Our last thing to do is to save our package right-clicking and save and this is how you import your custom textures into UDK